just a few moments from now. We always start with a children's message, and I'm looking around, and I don't want to put one child on the spot, or possibly two, so we're all going to be children today. Is that okay with you? This is audience participation anyway. Audience participation. Today, I'd like to talk about the color green. The color green. Now, about two months ago, I talked about green, but this is kind of a review. So let's, let's talk about green. Can you name some things in the world that are green? Anybody? Grass. That was the number one answer in Sparta this morning. Grass is green. What else is green? Frogs are green. In Sparta, someone actually said Kermit the Frog. That's what they said. And he sang a song saying it's good to be green, right? Something like that? Yeah. What else is green? Think of things that are green. Money? Did somebody say money? All right. And you know what? This is... Did anybody watch the service from Sparta this morning? Because these are the exact same order they mentioned it. Seriously, it was grass, Kermit the Frog, and then money was right after Kermit the Frog. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, money is green. What else is green? What else is green? Green jello? Is that? Lime jello. Okay, you must be Lutheran, right? Because the, the standard joke is that at every covered dish dinner in a Lutheran church, somebody brings the green jello, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're right on the ball. Any, any, anybody else? One more. What else is green? Your floor. My, the floor is green. The floor is green. And while we're at it, let's take a look. I'm wearing a green stole. There are green pyramids. Uh, some of the chairs have green cushions or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of green. And I bring this up because... We are in a green season of the church. Once in a while, the colors do change, but we're in green for a long time. You're going to be seeing green in this church until Thanksgiving. So we're locked in with green. I hope you enjoy green. Uh, by the way, when I said at the other church, is there anything that's green? Nobody mentioned the New York Jets football team. I don't know. Don't, I guess they just want to forget that, right? They want to forget about the Jets. But um, anyhow... Uh, we're in a green season, and green symbolizes growth, it symbolizes life, it symbolizes energy, and the reason we're green in the church life during the summer is because we emphasize our Christian growth, how we grow in Christ, and we grow in the Word of God, we grow in spirituality, and all the other ways that we grow. So keep in mind we are in the green, green, green season, so we're going green big time. Can we pray about it? Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for the colors of the world, and especially we lift up the color green as it reminds us of our growth, our spiritual life, our spiritual energy. Uh, bless us, Lord, as we gather in this place. Bless us with all the growth we can have spiritually and relationally. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm glad you're here this morning, and we're going to start with the prelude. 